from A Very Avid Reader and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have never been here before, welcome. I hope that you enjoy your stay. So it's been a few weeks since I posted a video, but that is because I have been super busy here. I've been studying abroad in Oxford. So my last video was a video exploring bookstores in Oxford, and I thought I would do a continuation of that series by exploring bookstores in London. So Oxford and London are pretty close to each other, and so I was able to visit London quite a few times while I've been here. And the last time that I went, I spent the majority of the day going around to some really cool bookstores, and I I brought you along with me. So this video is going to be similar to the Oxford bookstore video where it's going to be pretty much just vlog style and I'm not going to do a haul because I am planning on doing a big haul when I get back from being abroad. That's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you enjoy coming along with me as we explore some really cool bookstores. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first store that I went to was Hatchards, and this is actually the oldest surviving bookstore in London. It was opened in 1797 and is still there today. Now it's owned by Waterstones, but it doesn't seem like a commercial store like Waterstones. It is still very quaint and charming. It is a very big store. It has four stories and tons of books, all sorts of sections, and really any type of book you could ever want, you could find it here. I took a picture of this book because that is the dream, living in a big bougie house with a horse. Am I right? The next store that I went to was Stanford's, and this store is really cool because it's a travel book shop. It has also been around for a long time. It was started by Edward Stanford in 1853, but it eventually moved to this new location, and it's even mentioned in Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Hound of the Baskervilles. And as you can see, there's some really cool travel inspired decor as you walk throughout the shop and it's super cute. The next store that I went to was Foils and just like Hatchards, this bookstore is super huge. It's got four stories and as you can tell, there's a super cute quote right on the wall when you walk in. So this bookstore is massive and like Hatchards, any type of book that you could want, you can find it here. They have a really extensive classics section as well as a book about myself. How exciting! On the top floor, there is a cafe which serves all sorts of fun stuff and I ended up getting a scone with some jam and clotted cream to snack on while I was in this store. The next bookstop that I went to was called Word on the Water and this bookstore was so cool because it was actually situated on a barge that was parked Okay, I don't think parked is the right word. That was moored on Regent's Canal in King's Cross. Most of these books are secondhand, and there is an extensive collection on the outside of the barge, but also you can go down into the barge, which is just super cool, and as you can tell, it is a very, very cool bookstore.
also the owner had a bird in the back which was very cool and i spent a while trying to get its attention and when i finally did i was scared next bookshop that i went into was daunt books and this bookshop is so beautiful Its main room is a really cool gallery style room that also has stained glass windows and is just immaculate vibes, people. And the last bookstore that I went into was the Notting Hill Bookshop, which is what inspired the bookshop from the movie Notting Hill with the classic Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts. It's not set up exactly how it looks in the movie, but this is the bookshop that inspired the bookstore from the movie, and they have a little nod to the Travel Book Company, which is the name of the store in the movie, so it was just cool to go in, and it was a super cute store. Plus, we love an extensive Jane Austen section. The queen deserves it. And they also had the really cool thing that some stores do where you have a blind date with a book and they were actually pretty cheap. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and looking at some really cool bookstores in London. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Also make sure to go check out my Oxford bookstores video because that one was also very fun to make and I found some cool bookstores around. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in another video.